Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to The Weekly Way, your weekly devotional commentary on the Torah, Half Torah, and Brit Chadesha portions. Today, we are in Parashah number 7, which is Vayetze, which means He went out, and it's taken from Genesis chapter 28, verse 10, all the way to chapter 32, verse 3. Now, my focus chapter or text is Genesis 31, 1 through 16, and this deals with um, Jacob's relationship with his father-in-law, Lot. And when God starts prospering Jacob, Lot starts turning against him. So sadly, many times when we surrender to God and his, and his laws and his commandments and his will, uh, and his, ultimately his Messiah, Yeshua, it comes at a price, and sometimes it costs us our family. Now in Matthew chapter 10, verses 34 through 36, it says, Think not that I have come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes, or a man's enemies, shall be they of his own household. So just because of our belief system, our worldview, um, you know, our, our spiritual declarations, we can quickly become enemies with our own flesh and blood. Yet it says in God's word that he is our family. In Psalm 2710, I love this, it's always comforted me. It says, when my father and mother forsake me, now that's the ultimate of being forsaken, is if you are being forsaken, by your mother and father, right? The ones who created you, the ones who gave you birth and gave you life. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. You know, God is, is not only our father, which art in heaven, but uh, you know, the Holy Spirit is sort of the feminine aspect or the feminine soft side, the nurturing side, the motherly side of God's character. Matthew 12, 46 through 50 says, while he yet talked to the people, Yeshua, Behold, his mother and his brethren stood without. Now, this is his biological mother and brothers, right? Desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren are standing without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto them that told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hands towards his disciples. And he said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. They say that blood is thicker than water, but yet there is a blood that is thicker than biological blood, and that is the blood of Messiah Yeshua. It is thicker than biological blood. I have brothers and sisters in Messiah Yeshua who are closer to me than my own biological brothers and sisters and cousins and aunts and uncles, right? Proverbs 18.24 says, A man that hath friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. We know this to be Messiah Yeshua. Um, so, if you've experienced hostility or desertion from your earthly family, you're not alone. Since I've laid aside the entrapments of westernized pagan elements that have crept into Christianity and decide to, to do my best to follow the, the Word of God exclusively in a, a 21st century way, um, and, and I fully embraced my identity as a, a Nazarene Jew, as a Netzarene Jewish Torah obedient believer in Messiah Yeshua. Blood relatives have suddenly become cold acquaintances, and the eyes of the in-laws, uh, I've become an outlaw, right? So I've lost many friends, too, because of this. But I take heart in the fact that God and my fellow believers are my new, and in many cases, my real family. So let's move on to the half Torah portion. We're going to skip the the, the, the Brit Chadesha portion because in the Torah portion, we covered so many scriptures from the Brit Chadesha. So we'll just kind of leave it at that. So the half Torah portion is from Hosea. So in Hosea chapter 13, verses 13 and 14, or no, chapters, chapter 13, verses 13 through chapter 14, verse 10, it speaks how Ephraim... Now, Ephraim, the other name for Ephraim is the house of Israel. In other words, the northern kingdom or the ten tribes, right? So Hosea uh, speaks of how Ephraim drifted into paganism, into the worship of, of Baal, Baal, and all the pantheon of gods that fell under Baal, and estranged itself and become hostile towards its brother Judah, the southern kingdom, 
Judah comprised of Judah, Levi, and a little bit of Benjamin, right? The southern kingdom. And even today, in many ways, Israel is still lost out there somewhere. There's still ten tribes that are lost and have assimilated into the, the, the pagan uh, cultures in which it found itself in an exile, right? But we see uh, we're at the beginning of Ezekiel 37, which is a prophecy that the house of Israel and the house of Judah, the house of Ephraim and the house of Judah, they're two sticks, but they're going to come together and become one stick again. So Israel is going to be united, all 12 tribes at some point. Why am I saying this? Because many of the lost tribes, they're opening up their eyes and realizing who they really are. You know, they may have thought that they were Germans or may they, they may have thought that they were French or may, they may have thought that they were, you know, Africans, but they're discovering that they're Gad and they're Reuben and they're Issachar and that they're Manasseh and, and, and things like this and Ephraim. So, um, you know, uh, these tribes are waking up and not only coming back to Torah, coming back to uh, a, a biblical practice of the Word of God, but they're also coming back to Messiah Yeshua, who is the real Messiah. So uh, that kind of covers the Torah and half Torah portion, and so the the half Torah portion also with these these uh, uh, separate kingdoms, the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel, uh, becoming one. That is also speaking of of brothers and sisters coming together and uniting and being one and being a family again. So, anyways, uh, that is the Torah portion for this week. So glad you could join. So glad you could watch. Thanks for watching. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Tov, and have a great day, folks. Hey, folks, let me give you something to think about. Go to my YouTube channel, Ray Bashkatan, and look for the playlist, The Monthly Musings. There, you'll find a thought-provoking message from the Word of God for each month of the year.